today we are going to be looking at a follow-up video from my Hubble's Law video in which we're going to be calculating the age of the universe itself and additionally in order to do so we are going to learn how to convert Hubble's constant from kilometers per second per megaparsec to SI units. Okay well let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is just write down the value of Hubble's constant in kilometers per second per mega parsecs like so. Now meters per second over here at the top of the fraction is already in SI units so all I need to convert are the kilos and the megaparsecs. So 70 I'm going to need to multiply that by 10 to the power of 3 because kilo stands for a thousand or 10 to the power of 3 and additionally we're going to need to divide that by mega which is a million or 10 to the power of 6 multiply by the amount of meters in a parsec which are 3.1 times 10 to the power of 16 what an astronomical amount of meters now, uh, if we put that into a scientific calculator, we are going to get 2.26 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 18 seconds to the power of minus, minus 1. Remember, that's the SI unit for uh, Hubble's constant, 1 over seconds, or s to the power of minus 1. If you remember from my previous video on Hubble's law, we said that Hubble's constant is actually equal to 1 over the age of the universe itself, which I'm just going to call t. Now, if the age of the universe is t, I can just rearrange for that, so t will be 1 over H naught. So let's take the inverse of the previous answer. So 1 over 2.26 times 10 to the power of minus 18. If we put that into a calculator, we are going to get approximately 4.43 multiplied by 10 to the power 17 seconds. Now that's a lot of seconds. Let's see if we can put that into perspective by converting it to years. So what I'm going to do is do 4.43 multiplied by 10 to the power of 17 seconds and I'm going to divide that by the number of seconds in one year. So I have 365 days, each of them has 24 hours, each of them has 60 minutes and each of them has 60 seconds and if we do that up to two significant figures we're going to get approximately 1.4 times 10 to the power of 10 years which is actually equal to 14 billion years okay folks so hopefully this makes sense just a little note uh, this calculation assumes a constant rate of expansion whilst recent observations have shown this has not been the case if you're more interested in that look up the theory of inflation the real um, in uh, in cosmology uh, which brings this number down a little bit hopefully this makes sense if there are any questions please drop a comment down below thank you very much for watching and i hope this was useful